I spent one week trying the clean mama routine and one week trying the fly lady routine. And in this video today, I will now compare and give my opinion on which one I prefer and why. Our competition tonight is tougher than ice cold beef jerky. Both of these routines resulted in the same thing, a clean home. But which one is more effective, but with less work? Because that's what we all want here. Let's have a clean home with the smallest amount of effort possible. Well, lean in. I'll tell you which cleaning lady will achieve that for you, okay? Your city's local home cleaning service. Okay, please, don't, don't click away. We're starting now. First, let's compare. How are these two routines alike? Well, they both have daily, weekly, and monthly tasks. They both find tackling clutter to be important. They both have it on their daily tasks to make the bed every day and to do laundry every day if needed to be done. And lastly, they have similar tasks on their weekly and monthly routines, but a completely different way of going about it, which we will get into later. Let's first talk about the daily routines and how they are different from one another. Starting with Clean Mama, she has five daily tasks. That's it just five, which is to make the bed, check the floors, wipe the counters, take care of clutter and laundry. Meanwhile, the fly lady has 19 daily tasks. <gasps> but calm your horses, because 11 out of these 19 tasks have nothing to do with cleaning, such as drinking your water, checking your calendar, and brushing your teeth. These aren't gonna make your home cleaner, so really, she only has eight daily tasks that result in a cleaner home. Here's another way Clean Mama and Fly Lady differ. Clean Mama has one daily routine, but Fly Lady splits her daily routine into three sections, a morning, an afternoon, and a night routine. While Fly Lady has 11 tasks that have nothing to do with cleaning, I still feel they're helpful. One of them being getting dressed to shoes and making yourself look pretty even if you're just staying home which really does motivate you to get more done. You look good, you feel good. That's not just a cliche. It's true. So that pretty much summarizes the daily tasks. Let's move on to the weekly tasks and how they work for each of these wonderful home cleaning experts. Clean Mama has weekly cleaning tasks Monday through Saturday, while Fly Lady only has her weekly cleaning tasks Monday through Friday. So let's begin with Clean Mama's weekly routine. Monday, clean the bathrooms. Tuesday, dust. Wednesday, vacuum. Thursday, mop. Friday, catch up on everything you haven't gotten to, and Saturday, wash your towels and bed sheets. And then to the right, here's Fly Lady's weekly routine. Monday, weekly home blessing, I'll explain that in a little bit. Tuesday, planning day. Wednesday, anti-procrastination day. Thursday, run your errands. And Friday, clean out your car and purse. Now let me explain the first considerable difference. Clean Mama has you clean your bathrooms every Monday. Fly Lady's approach to cleaning the bathrooms is a little different. While Clean Mama has you clean your bathrooms every Monday, Fly Lady has you clean your bathrooms every day, which you will find in Fly Lady's daily tasks, where she has you wiping down your sinks and toilets as a part of your morning routine. And on top of that, Fly Lady recommends that when you shower, you should clean the shower while you're in there with a little shampoo, and that way you can always have a clean bathroom by keeping up on it. So what would you rather? to deep clean your bathroom once a week like Clean Mama, or to do a one to two minute clean of the bathroom every day like Fly Lady. Okay, here's another big difference between these two experts. As you can see, Clean Mama has you dedicate Tuesdays to dusting, Wednesdays to vacuuming, Thursdays to mopping, and Saturdays to laundering your sheets. Four different days for four different tasks. But Fly Lady, on the other hand, has you complete those four things all in one day in what she likes to call a weekly home blessing. The weekly home blessing happens every Monday, and this is where you'll complete seven tasks in a little over an hour using a timer. So Fly Lady's weekly home blessing consists of dusting, vacuuming, mopping, emptying all trash, changing your sheets, cleaning the windows and doors, and purging your magazines. And her desire for this is that you would spend no more than 10 minutes per task by setting a timer and moving as quickly as you can. Do the following in quick succession and with minimal breaks. When the timer goes off, it doesn't matter if you're not done dusting. You're gonna put that duster down, set your timer again, and start sweeping. Fly Lady says that housework done incorrectly will still bless your family. It may not be done the way your mom taught you, but it will still be done and your home will shine. So let me ask you, what would you rather? Clean Mama's way of spending Tuesday through Saturday dusting, vacuuming, mopping, and changing your sheets? Or Fly Lady's way of completing it all on Monday in one hour, moving as quickly as you can? So for the rest of the weekly tasks, they both kind of have an anti-procrastination day. Fly Lady has hers every Wednesday, while Clean Mama has a catch-all day on Friday, where you spend the day catching up on all the tasks you didn't get to, but if you're all caught up, then that's where she tells you 
to work on things that you're procrastinating on. And the only other difference I can think of is that Fly Lady has a few extra things that Clean Mama doesn't, such as a planning day, an errand day, and a clean out your car and purse day. Okay, we are not done yet because both of these cleaning routines also have monthly tasks. If you're not already confused enough, time to confuse you even more. And before we get into it, hold on, I got a phone call. Hello? Hello, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. If the person watching your video right now doesn't subscribe, then nothing will happen and your car will be fine. I repeat, but feel free to subscribe anyway. Okay, starting with Clean Mama, who has 12 rotating tasks and a monthly focus for each month of the year. This information was difficult to find because if you want to see what monthly focus you're supposed to be working on each month, then she requires you to buy her planner or become a member of her homekeeping society, both of which cost money. So Clean Mama's 12 rotating tasks, you can print off her website for free. Most of these you will complete monthly, but some of them are completed quarterly or done only twice a year. And then for her monthly focus, she has a room or theme to focus on each month. In Clean Mama's Planner, it shows you all the months and their monthly focuses, along with the rotating tasks to do. So for example, in February, the monthly focus is the kitchen. So she lists out all the deep cleaning tasks that you can do just in the kitchen. And then she also has you do the same rotating tasks that you're doing nearly every month, but you would focus them solely on the kitchen. So since one of your rotating tasks is washing the baseboards, then you would only wash the baseboards in the kitchen for the month of February because that's your monthly focus. Just like in June, where the monthly focus is the bedrooms. Then when you're doing your rotating task of cleaning the baseboards, you'll only clean the baseboards in the bedrooms that month. Clean Mama doesn't have a specific schedule for you. She gives you the freedom to choose when you want to do your monthly focus or rotating tasks, which could be good because flexibility is nice but it also could be bad because then we may just never get to it. Schedules are healthy in my opinion because it keeps us accountable. So we covered Clean Mama's monthly tasks and now it's time to compare it to the way that Fly Lady does her monthly tasks, which she likes to call zone cleaning. Fly Lady has you break your home into five zones. One zone for every week except the first zone, which only lasts for two days. You can see all the dates to the right which tell you what day to clean which zone. You would follow the specific schedule every month so no month is different from another. She only asks that you set a timer and spend no more than 15 minutes a day cleaning your zone. Once you hit 15 minutes, you're done for the day, you can zone clean again tomorrow. Also, Fly Lady recognizes that you can't clean clutter, so if your zone is full of clutter, then instead of cleaning your zone, she wants you to declutter your zone first. 15 minutes at a time. Then you can do your detailed cleaning later after the clutter is gone. Fly Lady doesn't want you to burn out. That's why she only has you cleaning your zones for 15 minutes a day. Consistency is the key here. Unlike Clean Mama, Fly Lady's monthly cleaning system is very scheduled without the flexibility that Clean Mama offers. So Clean Mama says, clean when you can, make your own schedule. Well, Fly Lady says, clean every day but only 15 minutes a day. Another big difference between these two is that Clean Mama has you clean your entire house in a year, dedicating each month to a different room or space, while Fly Lady is having you clean your entire house every month, assigning each week to a different room or set of rooms. I believe that Fly Lady's monthly zone cleaning is a lot more simple to follow because it gives you the exact dates and space to clean. Clean Mama's can seem a little more overwhelming because it's a long list of tasks and without a specific schedule and place, it can look like a lot. But I'm sure if you did what Fly Lady does and spent only 15 minutes a day doing Clean Mama's monthly tasks, then it probably wouldn't seem like so much. Okay, so I gave you a description of each routine. Now for the question you've all been waiting for. Who do I choose? Like this video if you've made it this far. Well, I truly thought I was gonna prefer Clean Mama because her routine seems so much more simple and easy to follow but Fly Lady won my home cleaning heart. Her schedule, while appearing longer and busier than Clean Mama's, actually felt like less work and kept my home more consistently clean. Something about her trick of using a timer and just doing a little bit here and there, it just made everything feel so possible. And I don't know about you guys, but if I'm given a task to do something, such as mopping, I will spend forever going through every little crevice on the floor, putting up all the chairs, just being very thorough. But Fly Lady challenged me to stop looking at perfection, set that 10 minute timer and just get it done and get it done quickly because we have lives to live and we can't spend 25 minutes mopping the floor. She makes it possible. 
Clean Mama's routine will keep your home clean, but Fly Ladies in the long run will feel like less work and will still keep your home clean. But either way, whoever you may choose, I have two videos of me trying a week of both. So click on one of these videos to either watch me try the Fly Lady routine for one week or the Clean Mama routine for one week. And I will see you soon.